Good morning everybody! How are you guys doing today? We are doing great! We are going to be going to Mesa Verde today. Huh? Yeah! So we are very excited about that. That's something that Billy has been wanting to do this whole trip since he's gotten here. So we will be doing that today. Um, and I think that's all we have planned. I'm not sure how long we'll be there or you know what we have planned for the rest of today but we will find out so see ya through the video <laughs> I don't there was a bear oh you know I, yeah, see, I don't remember where we were and I just want to talk about this and tell people stuff that already happened you just want to talk huh uh-huh <laughs> mm -hmm. when it's one more time Actually, isn't a bad trip. Like the Grand Canyon makes a boundary. Can I imagine falling off this? You know, cactuses can jump. What? Yeah. Look down yeah, on the right. There's such the the thing as a jumping cactus. Out. Is that just the name of it? No, I don't know. It'll just jump out of you. We went to the lake over there. We went to the lake. We saw a whole bunch of jumping cactuses. They didn't jump though. I was like, Babe, do you know anything about jumping cactuses? Yep. Do they jump? Yep. That's scary. How? You touch it and it jumps. Yeah. Yeah, I want to get a long good. stick and touch it. It's like they're spring loaded. So it's like a Venus flytrap. Like the same amount of pressure you put into it, the same amount of pressure is going to come back. And like a bunch of other ones jump back. And all the balls like fly off. Ugh. And then mine. That's. <laughs> Well, yeah, so you can get stuck by them. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't best to wear sandals. Yeah, I don't think so either. We could have gone on the stroller. Yep. Yeah, we could have gone on the stroller. Well, maybe it, the stroller. it's over the air. Stairs. Yeah. Okay, so. Maybe it gets worse over there. Oh. Yeah, you could put a stroller on this. Look at the cactus. No, Haley, don't touch it. Probably a jumping cactus. I don't want to come back up this. I wore these to hiking. I'm very smart. Except for the guys. Yeah, we'll probably have to go swimming after this. I'm glad I didn't wear makeup. You could just left the stroller here. <laughs> oh no, I will Spread it up to this it. point and then just leave it. They probably said that because they don't they really don't want My legs are dead and I don't know why we haven't even been hiking. It's like ooh. That's it's like a liability or something to have a stroller. Oh yeah, that looks crazy. Wait, don't touch that. That's poison ivy. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, don't touch the plant poison ivy. I've oh, never okay. seen it before, but now I have. You guys are gonna be itching now. It's kind of steep. Papa, I wasn't thinking and I didn't wear the right shoes for walking. Oh, I know. Look at these. And look at the them. girls, too. Yep. We weren't thinking. We didn't know it was going to be like this. Yeah. Okay. Dude, that's a big fly. A big what? I think they bite. This is very crazy. Yeah. So pretty. 
How are you doing, baby? You're doing good? Ooh. You getting hot? We made it? This is it? Ooh. You guys put a good, good time of day to come down here because it's all nice and shaded. Yes. It's all what? Nice and shaded. Oh. <laughs> What's over here, huh? Yeah. What are these things? Do they build like fires or? Yeah, so these are pit houses, right? So all of these would have had that kind of superstructure over the top of them. Mm -hmm. Except they would have been completely closed. The only entrance to it would be that hole on the top. Uh, and these are actually the first permanent structures that people start to build inside Mesa Verde. So way back in 600 AD, so about 600 years before they start building cliff dwellings, oh. they're building these. Uh, and as you can see, it's a really useful house, right? Yeah. It's really well insulated with the roof on it, keeps warm, stays cool. The beams in here are actually the original wood beams. Those are over oh, 1,200 wow. years old. This one, of course, is constructed. Yeah. What was that? That's a really good question. I can't answer it. Um, so the, the old joke in archaeology when you don't know what something is, is you say it's magical religious. Oh, that's <laughs> right? what it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, Went in there to pray. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, so it might have some kind of religious value to it. Yeah. It might just be storage. We really Could just be. don't know. Yeah. So all those handprints are original or that's all been... So new? this has been reconstructed. This is concrete around the edge that the Park Service put in. Now... They did this to look like what we find them at a time. So sometimes you do see those those handprints and fingerprints in there. Um, but these ones have been reconstructed. That's amazing. Yeah. Right? Yep, that is that is original. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You want me to hold them? Mm -hmm. You want to record for me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, play the record. No, don't touch, baby. Don't touch. Thank you. Hi, buddy. Hi. You want to record up there, babe? You want to do it for me, Andrew? You're the best. Thank you. Mansion version. <laughs> Those ones are very small. I wonder if this was like a water well or something. Yeah. Hmm. Hold that. I'm not participating. Thank that. you. Archaeologists compare clues and stuff. 
We finished hiking the trail and now we are in a museum. What? Look at that picture before they dug it all. Where we were earlier. It's crazy. She was.